morning, Half Moon Bay High School. This is the Cougar Campus News. Hey students, it's October. You can help the homeless simply donate a new pair of socks to Mr. Jones' class, room A10, with your advisory teacher's name taped on the donated socks. Each advisory class that donates 150 pairs of new socks will enjoy a free pizza party on the first of first Friday of November. As a reminder, FFA is hosting a clothing fundraiser to earn money for the Half Moon Bay FFA chapter. FFA is selling a variety of clothing such as hats, socks, t-shirts, and sweatshirts. For each item purchased, $2 of donated is donated to the FFA chapter on campus. To order, use the QR code on the flyer in K6 or see Ms. Carney for further details. Hey Cougars, have you been checking out the homecoming activities at lunch? Here's some footage from the past two days. of Coastside Pride and the Half Moon Bay community later today at Mac Dutra Plaza from 4 to 5 p.m. for a unity event that aims to celebrate and honor the lives of LGBTQ people and LGBTQ History Month. Now it's time for Female Friday as we continue to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Title IX. Here's Ms. Shower. Television would not be the same without Ellen DeGeneres, the comedian, talk show host, and producer who famously risked her career to come out as a lesbian in 1997. Immediately after coming out, her sitcom Ellen was canceled, but she went on to launch the hugely successful Ellen DeGeneres Show, starred in movies like Pixar's Finding Nemo and Finding Dory, as well as host the Emmys and the Oscars, among numerous other projects. She has 13 Emmy Awards and won the People's Choice Award for Favorite Talk Show Host eight consecutive years. Ellen DeGeneres married her wife, Portia de Rossi, in 2008, providing an important example of mainstream gay marriage at the height of the Proposition 8 debate, a California ballot proposition and state constitutional amendment intended to ban same-sex marriage. Despite the battle she fought in her personal life and her career, Ellen DeGeneres has won 30 Emmys and 20, peop 20 People's Choice Awards, more than any other person. In 2016, she received the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Ellen DeGeneres has chosen to end her talk show after this current season and is looking forward to focusing on charitable efforts and environmental work. I am strong. Time 
for the all the sports includes volleyball results and girls tennis news. The varsity volleyball team beat El Camino as Mia Etheridge paced the Cougars with 10 kills and 17 digs. Grace Bigelow Leth had 9 kills, Iris Grant had 6 kills, and Tawny Vogel had 18 digs. The JV volleyball team also knocked off El Camino as the Cougar offense dominated throughout the match and was led by Ava Cardiel with 7 kills and 1 ace, Shelby Kearney with 6 kills, and Emma Sandal with 2 kills and 4 aces. The boys water polo team lost to Sequoia 7-4. Wyatt Bryans had two goals for the Cougars, and Pete Hessen and Miles Ripberger each had one. The girls' tennis team lost a close match with Woodside. Charlotte Ragazin, Emma Sprankle, and Nora Lynch each picked up a singles win for the Cougars. The annual homecoming football game is tonight, with the Cougars hosting the Kings Academy. Here's Mr. Nazar with some thoughts on the big game. All right, students, tonight is the homecoming football game excitement we're going to be naming the court and all those pieces but we're going to be there all together like we did last week rooting for our team cheering for the cheerleading team rooting for the band part of a very positive celebration let's bring this community together and let's rally our team onto victory for all of us let's work hard let's be kind to one another have a great day and go Cougars. Ahoy Cougars! Today, if you are interested in playing some baseball, come on down to the baseball field right after school. Bring a glove. If you didn't bring a glove to school today, that's all right. We can give you a loaner for the day. Um, come on down. We're going to start our conditioning. That means some throwing, some running, some agilities. It's going to be good old time. Come on down, get that work in. So when the season comes, you're ready. Go Cougars! Well, the answer to our Wednesday question about the Old West was Charles Black Bart Bowles. Congratulations to Ms. Bunkin and her fourth period class. For the first time this year, they were the fastest to answer. And a shout out to Ms. Lundstroth and her class. They were the second fastest to respond. Now, today we'll follow up on our Female Friday segment. Today's question will be about a famous female in television history. Watch your email for the question from me and have a fantastic Friday out there. And we'll see you tonight at the football game. Go Cougars!